So previously we talked about ore extraction and technically ore extraction is getting these little materials which are ores as the name implies those ores contain the beautiful material we are interested in. rarely you will encounter a high purity ore for instance this one right here which appears to be pure copper now what you're going to encounter is not pure copper not even copper alone but qso4 and so on carbonates and sulfates etc hydrates and what you need to do is well first things first you want to crush it so you get individual particles then grind it flotate the materials downwards goes the heavy stuff and then the interesting part right here is using chemical reaction eventually what you want to do you cannot do anything physical to remove those components those moleculars if you want to get copper alone as a element you will need to use chemical reaction and here it goes uh, you have the melting material the so2 gas which of course is from this part right here and you hit it right here where is it copper scrap okay so this is copper ore right here and copper scrap is nothing more than material which is uh, in different non-functional or non-industrial shapes those are leftovers we shred it and we add both of them so what you are going to have here is copper from the chemical reaction which goes from the copper ore all the way here and copper in scrap weight which in theory is also pure copper eventually the main idea is to get some copper treated and you will have your copper plates ready to be treated and uh, you can have them on several shapes piping uh, lamin, uh, laminar things uh, what else do we have here well uh, essentially those are the main uh, ways maybe bars of copper and so on so this is about ore extraction but copper is a more chemical process as you can see here you will need to use some uh, kiln or oven or furnace to get the copper alone 